When you're out photographing nature, you need a lens that works the way you do. The unpredictability of outdoor environments requires versatile camera gear, including lenses that give you a lot of options for composition and technique. You need a lens that can take in the enormity of the world, that can handle the elements, and that is exceptionally portable. Hi, I'm Erin Bopnik, landscape photographer and Canon Explorer of Light. One of the most common questions people ask me is which wide angle lens I prefer. It's a good question because Canon offers a nice variety of them and I have several to choose from. But there is one that has become my clear favorite. The RF 14 to 35 millimeter F4L ISUSM lens is nearly always in my camera bag these days for a lot of good reasons. Firstly, any landscape photographer is sure to appreciate how easy it is to carry this lens, especially since outdoor photography so often involves hiking and carrying all that you need on your back. I really appreciate how lightweight the lens is, adding a mere 1.2 pounds of weight to my kit. On long days of hiking with a lot of essentials packed, every ounce counts, and it's great to have a lens that doesn't make me think twice about bringing it along. The compact size of the lens is equally convenient. Being about the size of a soda can, it takes up very little room in the backpack, leaving more space for other items. So the form factor alone makes the RF 14 to 35 millimeter lens a delight to own. But of course, the real magic of this lens is its outstanding focal length range. In landscape photography, a normal field of view can be very useful. So I really appreciate having a wide angle zoom lens that reaches as far as 35 millimeters on the long end. But even more awesome, is also having a wide end that can zoom all the way out to 14 millimeters. An ultra wide focal length that allows you to take in more of the world and get really creative. At 14 millimeters, it's possible to get very close to a foreground element while also including a lot of context in the background. Creating near far compositions with a wide focal length can give your viewers a real sense of being immersed in a place. Another truly remarkable feature of the 14 to 35 is what it packs up front. By designing the lens with a regular front element rather than a bulbous one, the engineers who created this lens were able to include filter threads, which are not always present on ultra wide angle lenses. Even better, these threads are 77 millimeters, which is a really common filter size. That means it's very likely that you'll be able to pack a single set of filters for all of the lenses that you might need while you're out photographing landscapes. Needing fewer filter sets means being able to pack a greater variety of filters to cover whatever creative effects you hope to achieve. Optical image stabilization is also extraordinary with this lens. Even though most landscape photographers prefer to use a tripod when possible, there are always times when hand holding your camera will be more practical or expedient. Therefore, Having the benefit of five and a half stops of optical image stabilization can mean that you can come away with photographs that you might not have otherwise. A great feature that combines with this amazing shake reduction is the close focusing that the lens allows. It can lock focus down to just 7.9 inches at all focal lengths, and it has a maximum magnification of 0.38 times at the long end. Combined with its constant F4 aperture, the optics make it possible to separate out the smaller details of nature with nice rendering of the out of focus areas. Speaking of optics, any wide angle lens worth carrying for landscape photography should be able to produce a beautiful sun star. Canon L series wide angle lenses are absolutely legendary in this regard, producing what are arguably the most elegant, clean, and yet still organic sun stars that you'll see anywhere. And I say this as a true sun star snob. The RF 13 to 35 millimeter lens is able to handle flare so beautifully thanks to its nine circular aperture blades and a trio of special coatings, making it possible to include the sun in the frame with confidence. Lastly, I have to give a shout out to the great build quality of this lens. Like all L-series lenses, the RF 14 to 35 millimeter F4L ISUSM lens is made for professional use. Its smooth operation and weather-resistant seals mean that I don't have to worry about where I take my gear. 
and can keep my focus on being creative in the field. So there you have it. That's a pretty extensive list of features for one lens. It's an incredibly capable and convenient piece of kit. I do have other wide angle lenses from Canon that I use for more specialized needs, such as night photography. But for the vast majority of my outings, this is the one wide angle lens that I wanna take with me. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you remember to like and subscribe. Also, please feel free to leave a comment below to share your thoughts or ask questions. Thanks for watching.